Hello scholars, Mr. Hinkle here. Today, I'm going to explain oceanography all in one lecture. Actually, this is a bit of an introduction to what is oceanography? And I could tell you, first and foremost, that oceanography is a very broad topic that covers everything that has to do with the oceans. Does it have to do with the ocean? Boom, oceanography covers it. Oceanography is the study of all aspects of the marine environment. And so what we are going to do today is to provide a comprehensive and accessible overview for the key principles, disciplines, and significance of oceanography. What is it? Why is it important? And what specifically do we get into? Let's do it, shall we? So, Oceanography is a science. Science started 16th, 17th centuries with the scientific revolution, but people have been studying the oceans for as long as they've been building boats and traveling along them. The oldest boat that's ever been found is 10,000 years old, carved out of a giant piece of bamboo. It's a bamboo boat that uh, people were using to travel across the sea. Awesome. The word oceanography translates to description of the marine environment, and it covers all different kinds of disciplines. Geology, yeah. Chemistry, yeah. Biology, yes. Physics, yes. On and on and on. So oceanography is a multidisciplinary science studying the marine environment. A person who studies the ocean is an oceanographer. Oceanographers work in the ocean. They work on boats. They work on labs. They use a variety of technologies, underwater vehicles, satellites, buoys, remote operated vehicles. They collect data, conduct experiments in different parts of the ocean. They're looking to understand how the oceans work. And so, I would like to say that for the next 18 weeks, you are an oceanographer. You are a person who is studying aspects of the marine environment, seeking to understand the dynamic interactions within the ocean and its relationship with the broader Earth system. So, welcome to oceanography, study of the marine environment. As an oceanographer, a person who studies oceanography, this is going to be great. I love it. Okay, so why is oceanography important? Well, if we see up here on, here it is. I think you can see this. That's a continent. That's the ocean. Oceans cover more than 70% of Earth's surface. That's why we are the blue planet. Life started in the oceans. Life diversified in the oceans. Oceans support a broad array of that biodiversity. Oceans provide resources and habitat for animals to live. Oceans are important transportation corridors. They regulate global climate. Without the oceans, there is no life. Because not only do they provide the water for life to exist, but they stabilize the global climate, making our Earth habitable for life to live on. Oceans are vital to the economy. So we could go zoom out. There's no life without oceans to humans need oceans for globalization, transport, and economics. Oceans are wildly important on a variety of resources. Oceans in society, so oceans provide habitat and ecosystems. There's agriculture, aquaculture that occurs in the oceans. There's industry, there's jobs, literally everything. So it's kind of like this. I teach at Fresno City College in Fresno, California, the middle of the Central Valley. We are a couple hundred miles away, maybe 150 miles away at closest to the ocean. I don't get there all the time. You may have never seen the ocean, but there is no you without the ocean. Our lives rely on the oceans. This is how important oceans are. This is why I love this class, because we need the oceans for our survival. The oceans 
support our lives. They support everything. Oceans are an early warning system. When things are happening in the oceans, it's time to start paying attention. Uh-oh, coral bleaching, not good. Ocean acidification, uh-oh. Global oceanic temperature is getting warmer, means that surface temperatures are getting warmer. So we can look to the oceans to say, what's the health? What's the vital sign of our Earth? Kind of like you would take your pulse to see if your vitals are good. The oceans are like taking the pulse of the Earth system. And we need Earth because we live here. We live off of our Earth. So oceanography has been around as a science since the scientific revolution. Before that, oceanography was exploring the oceans. It was getting from one island to another. It was navigating across big distances. 15th, 17th century, we have the age of exploration. We have the first circumnavigation of the entire globe by boat. Pretty cool. 18th century, the Enlightenment period happens, and we get our first scientific investigation. Captain James Cook traveled the Earth with the purpose of collecting scientific observations to understand our Earth. 19th century, modern oceanography, systematic approach using science. 20th century, technological advances, deep sea exploration, global studies, satellite technology. So oceanography is, as a science, a relatively young field. We're still learning a lot. The oceans are one of the last great unknowns. There's still so much unmapped territory in our ocean. It's because they're that big. They're so vast, of which we'll discuss in our course. Key areas, physical, the physics, the, the shape, the structure, chemical, the water, biological, the animals, the plants, geological, the geology, marine meteorology, the air-sea interactions, and paleo. Paleo is a word that means old or ancient. So. In physical oceanography, we will look at ocean currents, waves, tides, physical properties. This part of our oceanography explains, tells us what we will be studying. Chemical invades, investigates the composition of seawater, the distribution of different compounds and substances. This is where we get into water's unique properties. So cool. My favorite lecture, perhaps, where we get to just talk about how cool water is. I love it. Biological. We're looking at marine life and ecosystems. We'll look at plants, primary producers, animals of the seafloor, benthic, and animals of the open ocean. Geology, this might be my favorite. I have a geology background, as you may know. Geology, so the study of the ocean floor, the topography, or it's called bathymetry, sedimentation, underwater features, such as mid-ocean ridges, we've got trenches, we've got seamounts, underwater volcanoes. Marine meteorology, so this is looking at atmospheric circulation patterns, special weather events, El Ninos, hurricanes, how the atmosphere and the oceans interact with one another to affect marine meteorology, to affect oceanic processes. And we'll look at paleoceanography, the history of the oceans and its past conditions, especially through sediment cores, which are drilled from the bottom of the ocean. Here we have scientists and researchers learning about our Earth's history through sediments on the ocean floor. We can tie all of this together, how our oceans work the chemistry of our oceans, the animals and plants that live in them, the structure of our oceans. To understand 
current climate patterns, current marine ecosystems, and how we efficiently and sustainably manage our marine resources and our marine ecosystems. Because the oceans support our lives. And as we move through this course, we will really learn how interwoven what's happening in the oceans are with what's happening on land and that we are directly affected by the oceans. And that not only are we affected, but that the oceans, they are a part of us. They are part of our life, even if we've never seen them. We are part of the oceans. The oceans are part of us because we are all part of this living, breathing entity that we call our home, our planet Earth, the Earth system. So I'm really excited to study, to learn, to grow, to share, to experiment with the science of oceanography with you, where we will cover the physical, chemical, biological, geological, meteorological, and paleo-oceanographical aspects of our marine environment. And that is Oceanography Explained. Thank you so much.